I'm image consultant Sandy Dumont, known as the Image Architect. Let's talk about suits. For a man, a business suit comes in navy blue, black, gray, brown, and various shades of tan in the summer in certain places, not everywhere in the world. But I know you can visualize all of those colors and I don't have to show them to you. The first thing I want you to know is that gray suits don't make every man look his best. And then you need to decide, should it be almost black, should it be charcoal, should it be mid-range, or should it be light gray? You really need to see for yourself with swatches of fabric whether or not you can wear gray, and if so, which shade is the best for you. Most men can wear navy blue. Then, of course, there's the blue that's almost black, and there are the summer shades. You have to be careful. There are some shades of navy blue that are actually warm, but it takes an expert image consultant to be able to guide you to make certain that you don't get a warm navy blue when you should be in a cool one because the majority of people have cool skin and will look better in a cool navy blue. That's the classic navy blue. So, um, brown suits are not power suits. Brown is a soothing, calming color. If you are in human resources and need to counsel someone about why their sales need to be up, then brown might be a better color. And if you have to let someone go, it's a much better color to wear. It makes you seem kindly instead of the hatchet man. So it has its place, and in some places and with some careers, maybe it's your number one choice. If you're in the Midwest and you are dealing with international harvester types, for example, browns your suit. All right, let's talk about patterns. Do you want a solid suit or do you want a striped suit? First thing you need to know is that stripes are known as banker's stripes for very good reason. What do bankers do? They put everything, figures, in long, thin, precision columns, don't they? So everything we do is on autopilot. Everything in image is logical, and that is no exception. So they have an identification with those stripes. They get together for the bankers' conference, the bankers' board meeting, whatever, financial services of any kind, and they're right at home, and it says, hey, you're a member of my tribe, so you're accepted. But if you're outside financial services realm, you might look like Mr. Stiff Suit because straight lines suggest that you are very rigid. But in financial services, they suggest you're straight. In other words, honest. You're not going to fool around with the ledger and so forth. So keep that in mind. That's why stripes are for daytime, not for going to the opera, because they're all business. So choose them carefully. In the UK, the wide chalk stripes are fine. Not so here. They tend to remind us of too many Al Capone movies, so keep that in mind also. When it comes to patterns like window pane patterns, that's something you need to talk to your image consultant about and they need to take a look at them. For the most part, I tell my clients to shy away from those patterns. I sort of like solid suits best and then pinstripe suits second. Gentlemen, if you want to make a statement, if you want to walk into a room and own it, I suggest you contact me for an image session and if you can't come to my studio in Virginia, I can get to your place and then maybe also do a workshop for your staff after you've had your image makeover. You need to learn how to put suits, shirts, and ties together so that everything is in total harmony. We'll talk next about how to pick out those fabulous shirts and also ties. This is Sandy Dumont, The Image Architect. Contact me at theimagearchitect.com.